In this lesson, you will learn about the names of important angles. We all know angles are measured in degrees. This is a circle, and you can see following the star around the complete circle that a circle has 360 degrees. What about a straight line? Let's draw a straight line. Now we can see a straight line from 0 to 180 is 180 degrees. Here's another straight line. And again, a straight line is always 180 degrees. The right angle. The right angle is always equal to 90 degrees. Let's draw a right angle on the circle. There we have a right angle with 90 degrees. We can draw in altogether four right angles in a circle. There's another right angle, it is 90 degrees. An acute angle. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees. So if we see our 90 degree angle, an acute angle must be less than 90. For example, 60 degrees is an acute angle. Another example, 30 degrees. 30 degrees is less than 90, it's an acute angle. An obtuse angle, an obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees. So if we look at our right angle again, but this time the angle must be more than 90 degrees. 120, this is an obtuse angle. Another example, 150 degrees is more than 90 degrees, so it is an obtuse angle. Finally, we're going to look at angles in real life. We don't always know the degree of the angle, but we can just look to see if it's less than 90, acute, more than 90, obtuse, or a right angle. The crocodile's mouth is an acute angle. A laptop, it's sitting at 90 degrees. This is a right angle. A fan we use to cool ourselves. This is an obtuse angle. It's more than 90 degrees. The roof of a house. Again, it's more than 90 degrees, it's an obtuse angle. A pair of scissors. The blades are less than 90 degrees, they are at an acute angle. And finally, a pair of dice. The side of the dice is at a right angle. Thank you.